this was a thrift shop find. It was um, an old print and I bought it because I loved the frame. I took vintage linen and I painted over glass and all. I'm going to want to blur that line a little bit. dab that and then I'll just kind of randomly use randomly use the brush to help me with my flowers so there's really no rhyme or reason to it I think I want another one right in here Just a couple of petticoat pink flowers. So if you experiment with the thickness of the paint, the tool that you're using to make the splatter, and then how you're getting it to splatter, it all changes the shape. So you can see it's really starting to take form. That. So I want to get some of this on, on this frame because it's looking too neat and tidy and clean for me. So down here it's a little bit more splattered, which I love. Take the paint with my palette knife and just kind of swoop it in the center a little bit.
So I want to water it down. So if you can see, I'm watering it down. Because I, I don't want my black to be way overpowering. So you just get, get some on there. This is why I have gloves on. And then you flick it. Tool. And this one is really good at lines. As you can see, this is what's going to help me make that branch. So just bringing that all in. And it's wherever, you know, wherever you want it, whatever colors you like. So I'm just using a finer brush and flicking my wrist. I just want to build that grass up. So I'm just going to get, I want lines, blades of grass. So that's what I'm trying to do right now, just get blades of grass. So a little bit lighter color. Again, building interest, building depth. And if, if I... And I, I think I'm done. I will sign it. And I really love it. So I'll show you, maybe if you can see close up. I'm so in love with these paintings. So you can see the layering and the depth. 